In 10th grade, high school students are presented with picking a class of their own choosing. This is called an elective. Courses on offer included woodshop. I'm happy with 10 fingers, thank you. Introduction to agriculture. I think you know the answer to that. Wrestling. I'd rather milk that cow. All of which led me to the elective I reluctantly chose, Psychology 101, an investigation into why people think and feel the way they do. Blech. All right, Thanksgiving weekend approaching, it's a perfect opportunity to observe family dynamics and how our parents, relatives, and siblings affect us. Now, the... yes, Sheldon? I don't find that interesting. Well, tough knuckles, that's the assignment. Now, you'll all be expected to collect data on your family, form a hypothesis, and make a prediction. So you're giving us homework for Thanksgiving? Yes. Oh, boy. Hey, listen. Something came up today that we need to talk about. What's that? I may have a shot at a better job. Oh, George, they're finally going to make you head coach? Yeah, better than that. Special teams coach, University of Tulsa. In Oklahoma? That is where they're keeping Tulsa these days. No need to be lippy. You're not seriously thinking about moving this whole family to Oklahoma, are you? It's 400 miles away. One's going to commute. Well, that's not going to work. The kids are all settled in with school and friends, and I've got my job at the church, and then there's Mom. Am I supposed to just walk away from her? No. What you're supposed to do is support my efforts to improve our lives. Notes for psychology paper. What you doing? Shh. Family conflict has been observed. Subject M and subject D have opposing views on relocating. You better not be recording over my Janet Jackson tape. Would you please? Who's subject M and subject D? I can't tell you that. You might skew the results. OK. Then tell me what skew means. Are you going to talk the whole time? It seems to be annoying you, so yeah. Mary, I just can't thank you enough for inviting me today. You're very welcome, John. Love having you here. <laughs> Last Thanksgiving, I just sat in my apartment all by myself and ate a turkey sandwich. <laughs> that is so sad. Well, it wasn't at the time. But now that I have something to compare it to, I realize what a pathetic loser I was. You were never a loser. Yeah, you were. Hey, Georgie. You have any sentimental attachment in this town? I don't know why. I'm just curious if you know, we ever did pick up and live somewhere else, how you'd feel about it. Well, if it was Hawaii, I'd feel pretty great. That's where they make Magnum P.I. I don't think Hawaii is in the cards. How about Miami? Let me guess, because of Miami Vice? Golden Girls. Of course. Car! I saw this one where Blanche dates this little guy who breaks up with her because she's not Jewish. So good. Forget about Miami and Hawaii and Blanche. I mean, how do you feel about not staying in Medford forever? Well, I guess I'd be OK with it. All right. Good to know. Subject D is attempting to influence Subject G regarding relocating. What about you, Sheldon? What about me what? Could you ever see yourself leaving Medford? I'm sorry, Dad, but I'm unable to express an opinion at this time. Why not? In the interest of science, I have to remain a neutral observer. Glad I asked. Hey, fellows, may I join? Sure. Here you go. Dang, nice catch. 